In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a date column in Salesforce. I'll go over how to set it up and how to move it around on the page. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a date field inside of Salesforce. Now for this example video, I wanna create a date field for my opportunities area. So I'm just gonna head over to opportunities. And what I wanna do is create a date field that allows me to log when I've had a meeting with the client or with the prospect or with the opportunity okay so we have one meeting and i want to log when that meeting was this will allow me in future to track how long it took between the meeting date and the close date etc etc loads of useful reasons um, and obviously you can use this date column for absolutely anything inside of your organization to track so in order to do so what we need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner go to setup and then go to the setup option here now on the left hand side, we then wanna to go to platform tools and under platform tools, go to objects and fields and go to object manager. Now, as we wanna to go to opportunities, I'm gonna use the search bar in the top right hand corner and just search opportunities or ops. And then as you can see here, the opportunity object has appeared. So I'm gonna select into opportunity. And then what I wanna do is go to fields and relationships. Okay, so go, to, go ahead and press fields and relationships. And as you can see, we've got all of the fields inside of the opportunities area i of course want to create a new one so what i want to do is go ahead and press the new button on the far right hand side and then we will likely be presented with this screen now the front end of salesforce is lightning however the back end has not caught up with the front end so they are still functioning on salesforce classic so go ahead and press click here to open the page in salesforce classic as you can see the page seems a bit outdated now, as I mentioned, we are creating a date column. We actually have two options. So if you scroll all the way down as, uh, on the data type list here, you will see we have a date and a date and time. Now, the difference between the two is, is of course, pretty obvious in my opinion. The date column is just tracking the date and the date and time will allow you to track the date that it happened and the time at which it happened, which for this particular instance is actually probably a better use case. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the date and time. Be mindful that the setup for both of these is exactly the same. So whichever one you use, this video is going to be applicable. So I'm gonna select date and time, and then I'm just gonna to scroll to the very bottom and press the next button. And then all we need to do is give our field a name. So I'm just gonna call this meeting date and time, or actually I'll just call it meeting date. So that's the name, the field name will automatically fill in. You can add a description if you'd like to and add help text when people hover over the I, but this is fairly self-explanatory in my opinion. And then we have a few additional options down here. We can always require a value in this field in order to save a record. Given the use case for this particular field, I'm not gonna select this. But what this is actually saying is when a new record is created, you must enter in this information before being able to save it. So. As, as I said, in this use case, it's not applicable, but in your use case, it may be. So I'm gonna leave that unticked. And then we can auto add custom report type. I recommend you leave this tick. And then finally, we've got the default value and the formula stuff. I'm gonna leave that for this particular video. Once you're happy, go ahead and press the next button. You'll then be presented with the field level permissions. So this allows you to select who is able to see that particular field and who is able to um, change the data in the field. So as you can clearly see here, we've got system administrator, standard user, read only, etc., etc. So if I said I only want the standard user to be able to see that particular field, then I could just select read only so they can read it, but they cannot change any data. If I then decided actually I want the standard user to not be able to see this information at all, you can just unselect from visible and the standard user will never ha have access. They'll never be able to see the date and time field however i'm just going to leave it selected as is here once you're happy just press the next button and then the final page you're going to be presented with is the layout page this is where you can select which layouts this field is going to be added to as you can see here i've only got one layout however if you do have multiple layouts you can select which ones you would like the field to be on and which ones you wouldn't like that field to be on so once you're happy, just press the save button and congratulations, you've now created your meeting date field or whatever you were using 
for your use case. If you now head back to the opportunities area and press the refresh button, you will actually see the meeting date column. Oh, sorry. You will now see the meeting date field has been added. If I press the edit button, you can add the date and the time. So let's say the meeting was today at 12 o'clock, press the save button. And as you can see, that data is now being tracked. Now there was one additional thing I wanna show you. If you are not happy with the positioning of this particular field on the page, I'm gonna demonstrate how to change the positioning. So if we go back to the opportunity fields area like we were just on, what we wanna do is go to the customize on the left-hand side, just under build, as you can see here. Use the drop-down menu, and then we wanna to go to opportunities or whichever um, object that you are using. And then we wanna to go to page layouts. And like I mentioned, I only have one page layout. So what I wanna do is go ahead and press the edit, uh, the edit button. Once you're on here, you will see the meeting date field that we have just added. All you literally need to do is drag it and drop it to another area of that particular page. So let's say I've added it to additional information. Once you're happy, just scroll up to the top, press the save button, and then head back to your opportunities area or whichever object you're using, refresh the screen, and as you can see, the meeting date column has now been moved. Hopefully this video was helpful and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you have now successfully set up the date and time column inside of Salesforce. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.